welcome to a new video and as you can see we are currently at an airport we are in Frankfurt because we are going on a language trip with our school to Edinburgh and I thought well we might just take you along show you a bit of what we are planning to do um, we have already um, departed Graz early in the morning at uh, I think 6 20 um, and in around about uh, one and a half hours we're on the next flight um, here from Frankfurt to Edinburgh and yeah we're just going to show you some some footage that we are going to take and if you enjoy this content please uh, leave a like and subscribe and uh, yeah enjoy arrived in Edinburgh uh, it's incredible the flight was amazing uh, I'm sure you've seen some footage by now and yeah now we're just going to uh, to the city center um, uh, yeah and we'll pick you up there so as you can see we have arrived in Edinburgh uh, behind me is uh, Edinburgh Waverley the uh, main station here in Edinburgh and as you can also see I have um, yeah I forgot, I forgot my hat uh, at our host family so yeah uh, first day already and I've already well, forgotten one thing once, so whatever. Um, uh, it's honestly great to be in Britain for the first time. I had a big smile on my face when I uh, when I first saw the the island, and uh, yeah, since then my mood hasn't changed a single bit. I'm, I really like it here, and yeah, we're just gonna show you around a bit, show you some nice clips we're gonna take, and yeah, for now that's it. And please enjoy some footage we are not going to show you. It's our second day here in Edinburgh and today we're going on a trip to Glasgow and we're going to visit the Riverside Museum. Um, I'm going to show you a bit of footage of us going there and some extra clips of the Riverside Museum where I think we have a pretty special well, exhibition object to show you. So uh, stay with me and stay with us and yeah, we'll go to Glasgow right now. the Riverside Museum, the Transport Museum of Glasgow and I'm really looking forward um, to seeing all the stuff in it. Um, there's one very special thing I'm looking forward to which we're going to show you first and then we're going to show you a bit of a, well let's say compilation of what you can expect from the Riverside Museum if you want to visit it yourself. So come on with me and let's get in. As you can see, we have arrived at the Riverside Museum, and behind me you can see Glenn Douglas, the last surviving in the RK class. And I actually built a model of uh, this very uh, engine, which is uh, to represent Edward from the Thomas and Friends uh, TV series, which is also why I was uh, very excited to come in here to see the, the only surviving example of the, the real engine. Uh, the NBRK class had a, varied, uh, uh, a lot of variants built from it. Uh, there was the D16, the D30, D32, D36, and some other variants um, in between. Uh, I think Glenn Douglas is a D30, um, almost sure, or D32. Um, but uh, those were uh, very common, um, as I already said, for the uh, NBR, the North British Railway, um, to traverse um, Scotland, um, 
and also uh, take short trips um, into England. Um, yeah, we're now going to show you a, a few um, clips of this uh, locomotive behind me. And yeah, stay with us. So yeah, um, you might have seen the video about uh, the Super Museum where we recently were. And now we are here in Glasgow, as I already said. Um, quite a difference actually um, between the different well, styles of locomotives, I would say. And here we can take a closer look into the cab uh, and yeah, get to see all the well, everything that was inside and that it takes to control a steam engine like this. And it's really interesting to finally see something like this and to also finally see a British engine because honestly that's for me just the most beautiful kind of engine there are. There's just something that's so charming and so beautiful about these machines, it's, it's, it's great. different in the UK seems to how it is in Austria. You see in Austria you can get onto the platform right through the trains and you obviously need a ticket to ride a train but you can get to the trains and here you need tickets to even go on the platform so I'm a bit disappointed that I can't show you any, any footage of trains going out and obviously only that direction because gas Central Station is a head jump so uh, you know obviously so um, yeah, but I have to say, in fact, Glasgow Central Station is a, a pretty nice station, nice room, quite big. Uh, yeah, I, I like it, and if I were to ride a train out of here, I think I would be pretty happy about it. So hello and welcome to the next day of our Scotland um, adventure here with our school class. Uh, today we're going to visit five, um, uh, to be honest, uh, to be honest, 
will be three to four different uh, villages we're going to. Um, first one will be Anstrada, then Kingsbarn, and then St. Andrews. And uh, on our way home, we'll pass through Perth as well. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to film today because nothing is really train or engineering themed, to, to be honest. But uh, we'll just see. The countryside will probably look nice. And yeah, we'll just wait for the bus now. So, first stop of the day are the three bridges here at the River Fourth. Uh, first one to open was the railway bridge just over there, um, which is just class called the railway bridge across the River Fourth. Next was the Fourth Road Bridge, uh, which opened in the mid 20th century. And the new addition, and that old actually, is the Queen's Ferry Road Bridge. Now, all three of them lead to the other side of the River Fourth and into uh, Fives. Actually, as you can see, we're at the seaside. We're in Enstrada. Our next stop on our way, um, uh, we're gonna visit King's Barn and St Andrews um, as well today. And yeah, uh, on the way here, we've seen a lot of beautiful countryside. Um, so far, we've only been in big towns like Glasgow and Edinburgh. And I have to say, if you're from Scotland, England, Wales, just basically the entirety of the UK, you can be so lucky. You have such a gorgeous and beautiful countryside. It's amazing. I mean. I'm Austrian and we also have the Alps and in general a pretty nice countryside but yours is just, it's breathtaking, I, I, I love it. And also yeah, the, the, all the villages on the, on the coast, like we're on the east coast currently, they're, they're just charming, just take a look at them please. So we are now here at Harvard Hollies, um, probably the most famous model store in Edinburgh. And we're just gonna pop in and uh, see what uh, yeah what we can spot. So a short visit later and I've got uh, two items, I've got one Great Western Railway uh, Rapido Tote Brake Van, I was looking forward to getting one of those for ages. Uh, and as a special reminder um, of my visit to Edinburgh, I've got one of the exclusive five plank wagons here from Harbour Hobbies, an exclusive, exclusive model produced also by Rapido. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that I got the, those two um, and also a uh, huge shout out to the shop here, uh, very friendly uh, support. So. Yeah, just if you are in Edinburgh, pop by, buy something. Uh, nice people around here, really. So um, we're now in the in the city for the first time, and behind me you can see Arthur's Seat, and we're actually planning on uh, hiking up there um, for once. Once this week, um, we still don't know when, but we hope to do so. Um, and yeah, because all the walking and the hiking is pretty exhausting, as you can see, I'm, I'm not that good in shape. Uh, we're just gonna um, go fast forward and until we are almost at the top.
acting. I'm generally really exhausted. Now, today marks the end of our trip here to Edinburgh and general adventures in Scotland. Uh, we're now at the airport in Edinburgh and we're waiting for our flight uh, to Munich from where we were flying back to Graz, where we started. Uh, yeah, some final thoughts on Edinburgh in general. I think the, the old city is, is very nice in general. Scotland is a very nice country, beautiful countryside. Um, and yeah, I don't have that much to say to be honest. But I would recommend, uh, if you have the chance, um, come here. Um, if it's a school trip, great. If you're um, just traveling for fun, also great. Uh, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed the content we brought to you. And uh, let me know if you want some more of it. And with that, um, we're off back to Graz. Bye bye.